Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech. Today's going to be a very short video about your Apple Watch, whether you got a new Apple Watch 5 or maybe that Apple Watch 3 that's priced really well. Um, you know, people have been complaining about the battery life, and I found that there is kind of a weird issue with the Apple Watch, and it seems to be consistent with it being every year. This is a problem that I have. You know, I get my new Apple Watch, I turn it on, I get it connected, I restore the backup that I had for my previous Apple Watch. And after everything is done, you know, the watch will power cycle, it will do its thing, and then the watch is on, and the battery just gets slaughtered in the first day. And I think to myself, well, you know, it's probably still putting files where they need to go and like doing some stuff and configuring. Maybe it's even still downloading some stuff in the background, and that's why it ate through the battery. So I put it on the charger, take it off at 100%, and it eats through the entire battery within like four or five hours. And I'm wondering, what did Apple do here? They just produced something broken, but that's not really the case. Uh, what happens is that I think something is kind of weird or glitchy in the software when you do a full restore or a restore from a previous device, and you have to just power cycle it once yourself. So you go to that side button, press and hold it, slide to power off, wait for it to power off, power it back on, and then your watch should be fine. That is what has fixed every Apple Watch issue that I've had in the past, is just power cycling it. And we don't tend to think about power cycling it, especially if we saw it power cycle itself during the setup process. Now, I have the Apple Watch 5 with the LTE, and so, you know, this Apple Watch is probably going to eat through its battery a little bit faster than one that doesn't have the LTE in it. But right now, I am getting what I expected, which was what Apple told us, the same battery life that I got out of my Apple Watch 4. And I had the Apple Watch 4 with LTE. I actually talked about this in a video previous to this one where I compared the Apple Watch 4 to the Apple Watch 5 for those of you that were interested. And that video has been doing pretty well. So if you haven't bought yet an Apple Watch 5, definitely check out that video because I give kind of a comparison uh, as to like what you should do there uh, as far as the Apple Watch goes. Um, but with that said, I think that there is sometimes some little glitchy things and they send us right to the internet to complain because they seem like problems. But I just want to remind you that simply power cycling your device sometimes can fix that problem. It definitely did for me. My Apple Watch 5 got horrible battery life, but and I remember having the same thing happen with my Apple Watch 4. I don't remember if it happened with any previous models of my Apple Watches, but I remember actually saying something and a friend of mine reminded me, hey, didn't you have that same problem last year? That's right, I did. Power cycle fix the problem, boom, done, simple. So let me know if that's something that fixes an issue for you. Keep in mind that anytime your device is unexpectedly draining its battery, whether it's an Apple Watch or an iPhone or a laptop or an Android phone or whatever, power cycle it, give that a try first because if you're like me, sometimes you can go weeks, maybe even a month or more without power cycling your device. And even though these devices are doing really good at memory and battery management and all that stuff, sometimes something will get stuck and cause it to just eat through that battery, which leaves you frustrated because you're expecting your device to last all day long. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you are having trouble with your battery life and a power cycle helped, definitely tell me down in the comment section. I want to make sure that the things that happen to me are happening to more than just me and a few other people that I talk to. So share those uh, experiences down with me in the comment section below. We also have a Discord server. Server. For those of you that like to chat and talk and ask questions and communicate together, I started a Discord server so we can all kind of commune together and talk there. There's a link down in the description below. It's a free chat and we can go in there and hang out and talk iPhone, Android, Apple, mobile technology, photography, all sorts of different uh, subjects that are in there. So you might want to check that out. Link is down in the description. And if you haven't bought an Apple Watch yet, like I said, check out the previous video that I created uh, because it gives some real good arguments as to whether or not maybe you can save a little bit of money by going with last year's version of the Apple Watch. So that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much, and we'll see you back in the next one. Take care.